Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is good and great and wonderful. And it's Black Friday. And I hope that if you did some shopping today, you were safe and you did not um, do craziness because, you know, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. I don't do the Black Friday thing. The Black Friday thing for me, <laughs> this is the start of a very bizarre Christmas tradition that my children and I started years ago. And I've never told you about it uh, because it's very unique to us. And the story of this, um, this, this, this tradition of ours goes off the rails really quickly because like myself, both of my children have very weird senses of humor and very twisted and fun imaginations. So I'm going to attempt to give you a little bit of the story of our tradition, but I can't, I would love to have visuals to show you, but I don't have any. So I, it's going to be very awkward and I'm hoping to get visuals this year. We didn't get them last year and I don't remember why. So hopefully this year we'll be able to get you visuals and maybe as we get closer, we'll, we'll actually do a video about it. So I am uh, not Christian. And never have been. Well, I mean, I have been when I was a kid, but I'm, I haven't been for a very, very, very long time. And I think that um, I don't, I don't, I'm not necessarily uh, like the the kind of anti. I mean, I'm wearing an atheism shirt right now, but that's beside the point. I'm not the kind of like anti-Christian person that tries to persecute, uh, you know, the Christian Church for laying claim to a pagan holiday being Christmas because Jesus was born in the summer and all that stuff. It's true. He wasn't born in the winter, but who cares? Like, that's fine. It's become their thing. That's great. But there was a much larger tradition that existed well before Christianity, Christianity that happened around that time of year. And so when my girls moved out and when it came time to the holidays and, and it just... I don't want them to feel like they have to come here, they have to go there, they have to go to their grandparents, like it has to be this day of stress. I wanted them to have their normal holiday. Their normal, like we wake up and we have Christmas. Um, and I decided that their mom could do that with them. And I didn't necessarily need them because the day, the December 25th, the day, means absolutely nothing to me. It's just a day of the year. I don't, just like yesterday was Thanksgiving, okay, it's just whatever. So I decided that we would have our own celebration um, that, that takes place during the winter solstice. So the winter solstice, if you don't know what that is, it is the longest night of the year, the shortest day, the longest night. Um, it usually happens uh, on, it happens between the 19th and the 21st, so 19th, 20th, or 21st. And um, that is probably the, 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 well, that definitely was kind of the start of Saturnalia, which was the celebration that that turned into Christmas, right? So um, I decided we would just celebrate solstice. I, I made solstice greeting cards 10 years ago or so, years and years and years ago. I've had them printed and I mailed them to people. I don't have one. See, I, I just did this off the cuff. So we decided we would celebrate solstice, all right? So that's step one. We don't do Christmas, we do solstice. Step two involves Christmas lights. Um, here in West Virginia, there is a park called Ogilvy Park. It's about an hour from here, and they have a winter Christmas lights festival that is outrageous. Like, people travel to see these Christmas lights. And if you ever go, it's really cool. It's like 40 bucks, and you wait hours in line in a car, and you drive this route that goes through the Ogilvy Park, through a golf course and another secondary park, and they have all of these massive outdoor Christmas light displays that are in motion. And, you know, it's really, really neat. And we used to go every year. Well, when we got to our celebration of solstice, um, we, we wanted our own thing. And we found out that, well, I mean, we didn't find out. We knew. But here in my town, my town decided to have a little park. Uh, light show and we have this little park that you you go in there's one road in and out and it's a big loop 
and they decided they would put Christmas lights all around this loop. And this loop is like two miles or something. It's a big loop. <laughs> the thing is, so you go to Ogilvy, and these displays, I'm talking, they're like hu humongous, like, you know, house-sized displays, like Santa Clauses that are dancing and elves and all this stuff. Well, this park here is a very small park. <laughs> And so what they did was they, they got community members, businesses, and, and basically anybody who wanted to donate money to donate money to the cause. And for your donation, you would get a light display built for you and a yard sign that says donated by. So when you go through my little hometown's light display, it's all these little, like just something that you would put out in front of your house uh, made up of LED lights. And then there's a big freaking yard sign right next to it that's like, you know, uh, in memory of or contributed by. And, it, and it, it really just becomes this, it's, it's pretty cheesy. Like, it's really, really cheesy. But the girls like it. You know, it's cute. There's some cute displays. They're pretty much the same every year. I think they try to add new stuff, but it's pretty repetitive stuff. There's just little like angels or whatever. Very few of them move. A couple of them move. A couple of them have some flashing light effects that make it look like it's in motion. But it's just, I'll try to get some pictures this year. And if I get pictures, we'll come back around and talk about our solstice celebration. But we went uh, one year, like three or four years ago, and there was this dentist who has this light sign and it was a tooth holding a toothbrush and it had a smile on it and it said like Merry Christmas, right? But this, 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 this <laughs> sadistic tooth has this like red grin that looks like the Joker and it has these really bright orange eyes. It looks like the, and oh, and it has a, it has a, like a stocking cap on. It is the like m most terrifying looking tooth you've ever seen in your entire life. And we decided that that was Solstice Tooth. That was our our patron of Solstice. The Solstice Tooth comes uh, into town on the 19th, 20th, or 21st and gives you gifts. And we wrote songs about the Solstice Tooth. We took the traditional Christmas songs and rewrote them about the Solstice Tooth. We've added on to this tradition every year. Uh, uh, we, we've, we have a whole... He... he he doesn't ride in a sleigh. He rides in a wheelbarrow that's pushed by a cow, and I have props for that. I, it that became because of something that my mom bought me. There's this whole, there's a there's a whole thing, and it's building to be a very since we all joke and love it at the same time because it's ridiculous, and it's exactly who we are. Me and meaning me and my children, we are ridiculous, and this stupid tradition of ours is ridiculous. So this all comes back around to Black Friday because Black Friday is the day. Uh, when Solstice Tooth is born into our existence every year. He's reborn every year. So today is Solstice Tooth's birthday, <laughs> and he starts watching because um, it, he he punishes, uh, very severely punishes people who have been naughty. So <laughs> again, <laughs> I, will, I will try to make a video as we get closer to Solstice and maybe put all of these thoughts into place and let you know the ridiculous tradition that me and my daughters celebrate, but uh, just note for now that Black Friday is when the Solstice Tooth is born into our world, and he's watching. So, yeah, don't don't mess up this year, this this December, or you'll pay, you'll pay severely. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Being amazing friends and wonderful people, I really appreciate you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is deus ex machina. It is a noun meaning an unexpected and unfortunate event solving a problem or saving someone from disaster, a stroke of good luck. The author used a deus ex machina in or to work his way out of the mess he got the characters in toward the end of the novel. Deus ex ma machina. D-E-U-S space E-X space M-A-C-H-I-N-A. I said Makina like wrong twice. Not Machina, not Machina, Makina. Deus Ex Makina. <laughs>